Today on Drawbly, Abby is drawing. Girls? Mm, concepts? Anyway, there's my hand and a pen. <laughs> Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. Share your art online with the hashtag Drawbly. And Abby, you are doing something that I don't think we've ever done on Drawbly before. No, I, I know, I know. So you can even see my iPad off in the... <laughs> it's like, there. It's, it's present. There. It's and <laughs> I could have set this whole camera up on the other side so you didn't have to see my whole like hand shoved up in the lens. But mm. here we are. I had a little prop that was plugged in on one side and couldn't stretch to the other side. What have you. Here we go. That's looking really good. And these are just from your memory? These like, are from my imagination. From the, imagination. That's the word. Yeah. And memory. <laughs> um, yeah, because we were supposed to be concepting this week in the Ahmed El Duri course. And... I won't even really show my lame attempts at that on the iPad. It just wasn't. Don't hitting. worry, I'll show my lame attempts for both of us. Yeah, concepting, you've said it best. It's not the same skill as drawing, it's its own skill. It's its own thing, yeah, and for sure. We're very new to it. And so for me, it just. I needed to go traditional for this to even try. I'm trying to do concerned faces because the Ooh. homework says to start with an emotion. Oh, that's right. Basically yeah. and flesh out on that. And he does a really good job. Very, very great lectures on concepting in general um, and about how you build out from that emotion and how you develop that into an idea with a theme and a genre and all that stuff. I didn't get that far. That's okay. <laughs> but I was trying to draw. There's, there's a lot there. Yeah, there is. And then I gave up even trying to draw regular concerned faces and just drew whatever came out of the pen. The pen was drawing, not me, obviously. And it is, of course, your favorite pen, the 0.28... Uh, pi no, excuse me, uh, it's the Pilot G2.38. 0.38, I'm sorry. Yes. 0.38. I have bought these pens for you, I think, maybe like five to ten times because you love them so much. I think that's <laughs> the cutest thing in our whole relationship is that when I run out of these pens, you buy me more. I can afford pens, but I love that you buy them for me. They're your favorite. They are my favorite. And, and I love them. Uh, when you were more working on the floors as a nurse, you were going yeah. through them like Oh, like crazy. Because crazy. the tips are so fine and delicate. Sorry, it's just my hand here. That they do break pretty easily. Um, plus, when you're working on the floors, things are a little hectic, and you can lose them pretty easily. So, yeah, I've gone through a lot of these bad boys, but, uh... But you haven't gone through a lot of these big rocks on your finger. No, I haven't. There's that big <laughs> rock on my finger. I told you, I said, I don't want a lot of little ones. I want one big one. And someone commented the other day, and they were like... Are you guys like dating or are you, are you guys, guys to a get, couple? Are you guys yeah. a couple? <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> are we? <laughs> Boy, are we ever. Actually, these G2 Pilot 0.38 pens are one of the first things we talked about when we were first like talking because we met online. Oh, it is? Yeah, because you, <laughs> you thought I had these really, really nice pens. I was oh, telling no, you about it. Oh, no, no, you told Sorry, me they were very again. nice pens. They are very nice you pens. You were like, they're, these are extremely nice pens. And I and I think you asked me, you are like, how much do you think one of these pens costs? And I was like, oh, I mean, they're really nice. Like, I don't know, $30, <laughs> $50, like a really nice pen? I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I don't. It's like six dollars for a pack of five. Yeah, it's a great deal. Or maybe ten bucks. It's super. Maybe cheap. I was asking you in the midwestern sense of you're gonna be impressed by how much they don't cost. Oh, okay, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. yeah. I don't remember exactly. This was my favorite sketch that I did. This that is so girl. cool. Yeah, you got her like in the water there or something. It looks like. Yeah, I added a little water and little decorations and bird skulls around her neck. This is so cool. So. Uh, I assume that you're going to also go in and do something else with these? Yes, so I've never taken pictures of my sketches and colored them in Procreate before. So it's really exciting to finally think to do that and have the opportunity to apply color to these little sketches. So I had to look up a couple videos on how to do that and I struggled mightily with that uh, mm -hmm. a little bit, figuring that out and getting, but I figure with practice I'd actually become Whoa, a lot better at it. Oh, this one's so cool. Yeah, this frog girl, yeah, she was fun. So are you looking at anything for these at all? No. No, you're just kind of doodling. This yes. is your doodling. This is me in my Whoa, essential Abby. form of art is doodling faces. These are so cool. 
They were so fun to do. I love- And you're doing it all with a pen, no erasing? No erasing. Very impressed. Oh, it's so fun. This is what feels the most natural to me when I'm drawing. Well, it's... you need to keep doing it because these are super good. Thank you. Like these are exceptional. Oh, well, thank you. And you can see I'm actually wearing a scrub top because I'm on my lunch break. I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I had limited options in how to set up my camera because I just had a little desk off to the side that was private. And so I was like, well, I already scarfed down my lunch because I eat fast and uh, why don't I go out and do this? Because I'm not feeling the uh, the digital concepting today. Are you more feeling the digital? No, I so, wasn't. So well, what is it about working with a pen and paper versus digital? What do you like so much more about the pen and paper? I have a really hard time articulating what it is I like about it. Um, but I love the true control. It's it is it feels like true control to me in terms of like how I can get the exact taper because it's so finely tuned. It's it's purely physical versus any sort of like There's no in between. Yeah, there's no in between. Mm -hmm. So I know exactly what taper I'm going to get, exactly what line thickness I'm gonna get. Oh, look, I figured out how to do this. <laughs> I figured out how to do this. So what are you doing here? You took a photo of your drawing? I took a photo and then I watched a video from a popular YouTuber called, I think, Art With Flow. Anybody yeah, yeah. who started on an iPad has probably watched a couple Art With Flow videos. I am familiar. Yeah, um, and she had one on how to like get your sketches all ready for drawing what in the iPad. What do you do? IPad. What's the secret? So it's not too complex, but on my next sketch that I tried to color, you can see me mess with the layers you have to do many times. Um, and try to figure that out. Also, it's weird to be able to adjust my ink sketches with Liquify like I just tried to do there. This one looks atrocious. That's now, okay. Okay, so this is you actually showing the process here. Yes, or actually showing my struggle with the process. <laughs> the struggle with the process. First you have to adjust these settings. You blast the There's contrast, right? Yeah, and then I'm like, wait, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Wait, is that it? and I just continue to struggle. So you filled in the background with white, you blasted the contrast on the the ink drawing. I couldn't even tell you. You could honestly and now probably you're, tell me better. You, now you're doing something. I don't know what you're doing I'm here. trying so hard. <laughs> we have not gone to the coloring because I just filled the entire screen with black again. <laughs> I, maybe we should edit this part out. No, I wanted to leave it in for posterity. <laughs> okay, okay, that's so fair. So that that's everybody fair. can know the hey, struggle. Look, look, here, you can see me create see, a, I got uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, you got there, you someday, got there. <laughs> someday I'll actually try to color these like well, but mm. I just wanted to block in some very basic First attempt, color. first try at Exactly. It. Um, it was weird being able to zoom in on my sketches too, because I draw them so small, mm -hmm. I have the luxury of not being able to see their many, many imperfections. It's so weird to be able well, to zoom in. It's because those imperfections don't matter. It's all about the big picture, Abby. That's the secret. You can't be worrying about these small things. You're right, you're Nobody, right. Nobody's looking at the small things. Here I was channeling the idea of Gideon the Ninth, who is Ooh, a yeah. character from a book series that I'm reading. She has red hair and golden eyes, and I was trying to capture her concerned look, because for concepting, I really wanted to do like a Gideon the Ninth, which is like necromancers in space, kind of sorcery meets sci-fi. Um, Very cool series. So I started I a little bit a with that idea. And then this little bog girl that I made just from nowhere, she was my favorite sketch, so I decided to spend a little more time on her and you uh, ended up just kind of moving things around at first initially with the selection tool, I like that. Well, yeah, then I realized that it left weird stripes that I'll have to take the time to figure out how to not do later, so I put stripes? it back. Stripes? What do you mean stripes? Oh, you, it was on screen for a moment, that weird like little L shape. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. oh no, I did see that. Yeah. yeah. From the um, image, like the background of the paper. Yeah, and I was like, I know there's a way to get rid of that, but I don't want to right now. <laughs> Uh, so this was so fun. I want to do this more in the future. Honestly, this makes me want to look through my old sketchbooks and pull out old sketches from the past and color those too. Yeah, that's actually a really cool idea. I, this is my favorite of your sketches. Well, I don't know. A lot of them were really cool, but I like the little frog that she's holding. I can't believe you just did all of these from your imagination. That's so impressive. The frog to me looks like I've never seen a frog before a little bit. But. Yeah, but he's, <laughs> he's like a little cartoony frog. He's cute. Cute. Yeah, thank you. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how realistic it is because that's not what you're going for. He fun. 
he fun that's right and what i really liked on her was her little hair pieces and then her bird skull necklace with like a big bird claw foot oh, in the middle bird skull Ooh. yeah isn't that kind of fun i don't oh. know i just imagine her to be kind of like half bog witch but half kind of harmless bog girl just like she lives there and bog girl. those are her little things <laughs> she's collected yeah <laughs> abby are you a bog girl I wish I would live out. I would love to like go do like a snorkeling adventure in the in like the bog? in what? the glades. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, that would be so cool. There's so much like very quiet nature that exists in like those bird spaces. skulls and derpy looking frogs yeah. that are very cute. And yeah, fun. I read that hit book where the crawdad sings oh, yeah? about a year ago, I and it's not. about a girl who like very much exists in the glades of like I think it's Florida or something like that. Mm, the Everglades. And they describe the nature in that book all the time and it's so cool she's not a bog witch she's just a girl girl but uh, uh, a girl girl regular girl Re <laughs> regular girl yes oh uh, well she's not totally regular well you have to read the book and find out it's no a spoilers book. yeah of course. you won't read it <laughs> <laughs> i gave her little hair frond things those little pink things i decided are kind of gill like things too Ooh, okay cool yeah yeah so i did concept look at me concept wow uh, so your whole theme for all of your drawings was like a sad disposition, frowning, or what was it? Concerned. Concerned. She's obviously not concerned. Maybe the frog is concerned. Maybe he's mm. concerned about being the next skull on the necklace or oh, something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is she going to eat him or, no. is she, is, or is he a friend? You know? She looks like she's holding him gently. <laughs> <laughs> and know. if you want to be held gently, oh. click that subscribe button. <laughs> and comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. Share some of your art online with Hashtag Drawbly. And this is the part where we say Goomba. goodbye. Yes, if you would like to be held gently in our embrace, click that subscribe button. <laughs> that is the most beautiful send off I've heard from our videos. Somehow beautiful, somehow creepy. But altogether gentle and kind.